I will just say thank you for having me to the group. I'm a representative from the pharmaceutical industry. And I will just say that in my experience with clinical research on Western medicine, medicine side, I mean, the benefit to trying to conduct an integrative medicine study with the standards that are expected for prescription drugs is that not only do you have the benefit of numbers working in your favor to impact your outcomes and make it um, widely accepted by an entrenched medica medicine community, medical community, but you also have the potential for recognition in peer-reviewed journals, for medical journals, and also the potential for insurance companies to begin to uh, send their subscribers for complementary medical techniques. You won't have that with the, unfortunately, because it doesn't have to be randomized double-blind studies. Patient outcomes do have meaning. Unless you're looking for the kind of um, FDA prescription standards and recognition, you don't have to go there. You don't have to. So you can use, you know, that my quality of life is improved, that I have more mobility, that I have less pain, that I am able to keep my food down. Those are all valid measurements, and they will contribute to insurance companies recognizing the bottom line, that preventive medicine, that treating a broader scope of symptoms has value, even in this sense. And that will make a difference for them encouraging entrenched Western medicine practitioners to invite you into their community. And I think when you speak about um, insurance companies, I think it's important to do some cost-effectiveness studies. So safety, cost-effectiveness, and then outcomes, I think, would be like three areas that we want to yeah. focus on. Reduce yeah. hospitalizations or reduce days hospitalized is a valid measurement from their standpoint. Absolutely. It's just it has to be set up properly. Perspective. Yeah. Well, it doesn't, some of our best studies are not even perspective. You can get legitimate value, good data on a partially retrospective study. And what you do is you, you do, use yeah. historical data, and then you come in and you have them do a survey at the time. Right. So there are ways to set it up, but you have to get it you have to set it up properly. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to have, everybody always wants these enormous numbers. Well, frankly, anything more than 30 is just gravy. So most of the time, you don't even have to really have these huge numbers either. If you set the study up properly and you ask the right question and you focus it. Right, well, absolutely, because a multitude of individual smaller s sample size studies bears as much evidence of weight as a randomized, double-blind, 1,500 patient study. It's the totality that matters. And as a matter of fact, there is a good amount of research, at least from an acupuncture perspective, there's a good amount out there. Uh, I think uh, a lot of it is, is actually becoming aware of what has already been published mm -hmm. and building upon that and, and making our uh, the people that we work with aware of the information available. We did print out, Erin submitted or brought to the attention to Deb um, a, a great article about research in pediatrics. I mean, that was kind of the focus of pediatrics, but I'm loving this discussion about research um, in the field. So if you haven't had the opportunity, we have copies made. Um, it's a great example of what we can do to begin integrating and to then present the information in a way that is both um, accepted in all fields and it's I'm, I'm sure my mom could even understand it if she read it. Maybe not the whole thing, but at least. <laughs> well, this <laughs> one is really it. basic, too. Yeah. If you guys hadn't seen, this one is back there as well. And this is in a magazine called Ode Magazine, and it's really progressive. And it was really, really interesting, and it talks to the layperson about integrative medicine and how you know changes are happening and what's happening. So I welcome you all to take copies and share that with others to get the information out there and let people know.